What is the pathology in these airways? On this coronal CT of the chest, we see dilated bronchioles appearing as small cystic tubular air spaces in the periphery of the lung. The answer is bronchiolectasis. Now what the heck is bronchiolectasis? Well, this is dilatation of the bronchioles. Remember that other video we did on bronchiectasis, which is dilatation of the bronchi? This is similarly caused by inflammatory airways disease, most frequently related to fibrosis. As we review, bronchioles are non-cartilage containing airways. Terminal bronchioles are the most distal of the purely conducting airways. They give rise to respiratory bronchioles, from which the alveoli arise and permit gas exchange. Respiratory bronchioles branch into multiple alveolar ducts. Bronchioles are not identifiable in healthy individuals because the bronchiolar walls are too thin. In inflammatory small airways disease, however, thickened or plugged bronchioles may be seen as a nodular pattern on a chest radiograph or as a tree and bud pattern on CT scans. On CT, when dilated bronchioles are filled with exudate and are thick-walled, they are visible as a tree and bud pattern or as central ovular nodules. In traction bronchiolectasis, the dilated bronchioles are seen as small cystic tubular air spaces associated with CT findings of fibrosis. You now know a ton about bronchiolectasis. Refer to the other video on bronchiectasis for more information. Please subscribe for more awesome anatomy and radiology videos.